invitations are out, the engagement photos done, and the day is finally here. But someone is missing. He's not here. Who's not here? The groom. What's going on? Steve's not here. Did anybody call him? The groom is MIA. <laughs> well, give me a phone. I don't know how to work this. Here, sweetie. What's going on? Where are you? I was out front. I just left. I can't do this. Oh, my God. Carrie. You might remember a similar scene from the 2008 film Sex and the City. He's not here. Who's not here? What's going on? Where are you? I just left. In the movie, the groom tries to make things right. But he's a bit too late. Our groom, however, can't say the same, and he ducks into the old glory kitchen and spirits in Keyport, New Jersey. Can I just get a shot of tequila, please? If you saw this groom... What happened? You got cold feet? <laughs> ...walking into a bar instead of walking down the aisle... Yeah. Oh, jeez. Let me make that a double for you. What would you do? Uh, I just get a shot of tequila. Tequila? What's wrong? I don't know. I just... I'm getting cold feet, I guess. These first customers are quickly engaged. I'm, I'm married. 15 years. It's uh, normal to have Yeah, you're gonna be nervous. nervous. Yeah, you're gonna have it's a nervous anxiety. Day. They try to ease some of the tension in the room. Well, how crazy is her dad? That might help me decide. <laughs> Before trying to ease the groom's nerves. How long have you guys been together? Been together five, engaged for one. Pretty much know everything by now. It's only normal. I got married at 33. This was a nerve-wracking day. What do you think I should do again? What do you think I should do? They won't give Steve a straight answer. I don't know. Uh, I don't know you tough personally question, yeah. in that sense. But they do recommend that he take at least one course of action. What you should do, you should call one of your buddies that's in your wedding party. I'm sure your uh, bride to be is freaking out right now. Don't leave her just sitting there wondering. That's nice. That's sweet. Okay. I think we can break it. Well, I really appreciate you. I'm appreciating you guys. What's your name? Steve. Greg. Don Quinones. <laughs> That's part of what would you do? What did you think? It's anxiety. You get anxiety when you're married, right? You weren't going to tell him don't do it. You can't say yes or no to someone you don't know. It's a sentiment we hear over and over again. I think you should go there, man. You know, I should talk speak to her. her. Customers just won't tell our groom to say, I do. Even if it's not meant to happen, yeah. at least you guys should be honest with each other and have like a conversation face to face. Instead, they draw upon their own experiences. Get the divorces, I can tell you that. <laughs> I want to have to get divorced. No guarantees. I never thought I'd get divorced either, but I had a good marriage for 20 years. It just got old. This next customer jokes that our groom has more to lose than a bride. I've already paid for everything. tequila, <laughs> <laughs> kitchen, do what you gotta do. You're already there. You don't go, it's, that's kind of like a rash decision. I think you're just kind of having a moment. For this couple standing up the bride <laughs> is just not an option. No, that would break too many people's hearts. Have a drink and man up. <laughs> These next women do what moms do best. What do you want her to marry somebody else? No, absolutely not. They instill confidence and try to comfort Steve. No, we're talking to like mothers. You just have to breathe, baby. We raise the stakes a bit and now ask the bride to call Steve. She's calling you? Yeah, she's calling me. You gotta take that call, baby. Take the call, say, I do love you, I'm nervous, I'm coming. Do you want to tell her that? Yeah. She gladly takes the phone. Hi, Lori. Hi. Uh, You're a fiance. He's right here. And then she personally makes the bride a promise. He's coming. He said not to worry. Thank you. Please tell him I love him and I care a lot about him. Thanks. That was nice. So here's the deal. When you're on your honeymoon and it's over and you're relaxed, you say to your wife, I was talking to these two old at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's our turn to set her straight.
How are you? This is a TV show. He's an actor. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Where'd he go? <laughs> what did you think? He's a great actor, but he's got to go marry her. All I was thinking was, if that were my daughter, I'd have to reach across and, <laughs> and give him a shot. Yeah. This is Manny Gaffer speaking to strangers. I ought to just mind my business. <laughs> This last couple has been dating for 12 years and aren't married. We were both divorced, so we were married to other people. But that doesn't stop them from reassuring Steve. You think this is normal then? Yes, or... to be scared and petrified yeah. and yeah. I never felt like this level of nervousness before. But you said you loved her. I do. But if you love her, you're gonna make this the worst thing ever. You gotta do what your heart's telling you. I feel like I want to throw up. Go to, go to the bathroom, right? Right now, it's us and not his heart telling him to step away. I feel like I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> All right, bring in the bride. And now here comes the bride. How will they react when she makes her grand appearance? There she is. <laughs> this is great. Excuse me? Your future dream. Yes. That he's not feeling well, so I think he just went in the back. But he's here. Yes. He okay. I haven't spoken to him. I couldn't get in contact with him. With the bride unable to get a hold of him, Thomas Donahue does it for her. Hey, she's good. You gotta be kidding me. She's, what do you mean? She's like out front? Sitting right next to me. And he convinces Steve to speak now or forever hold his peace. I'm freaking out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, Let's, go Let's go outside. But before they head out, oh, I gotta, I gotta pay. Thomas and Janice have a parting gift for the bride and groom. Hey, we got it. Don't worry. We got it. You sure? Yeah. Thank you both. Okay. Right. Thank you so much. With a happy couple headed for the altar, there's only one thing left to do. What can I get you? <laughs> That was a tough one, huh? Yeah. And then um, she walked in. What did you think of that? <laughs> uh, what's the key to a good relationship? Trust. Compromise. Actually, I compromise. And I'm always right. <laughs> it's a message our groom will forever cherish as he lives happily ever after. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs>